the city there. I was quite busy doing a lot of paperwork for my previous patients. Also I had um, quite a lot of chit chats with some of the assistants, um, interns, nurses, other doctors, my colleagues, etc. You know, just a lot of work to do and social interaction. Sometimes you can't just avoid it. But um, anyways, let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you. Yeah, so uh, what can I do for you? Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. You're here for an yearly physical exam. An exam? Only once a year. Nothing more, nothing less. And even if you forget, um, it's not a big deal because it just affects your general condition of your health. Something you don't have to check every year, maybe every two or three years, of course, if you're concerned. Even then, um, some of the patients are missing this deadline. Anyways, it's not mandatory, but I'm glad that you've come to me to have you examined today. Okay? Yeah, well, shall we get started? Great. So, ah, yes, there is your paper here. So, If you don't mind, I'm just gonna ask you a few questions, nothing more, nothing less, just to get to know more of your um, general condition of yourself and make a comparison with previous years, okay? okay. All right, so what did I have your names and date of birth, which cannot change at all. Um, has your address changed at all, or the job? Has it become more or less stressful? Okay, no, no, not, no changes, okay. Well, this is already giving me a general idea of what should be your health condition, but uh, let's not be hasty here, okay. All right, okay, so. Have you changed the relationship? Oh, well, okay, that's still something. Better than with the wrong person, right? That's right. I felt exactly. Okay, let's see what next. So, how many cups of water do you drink a day? You know, being hydrated is um, vital for your organs. Yeah, that's enough. That's quite hefty. Quantity, but that's okay. All right. Next up, on average, how many hours of sleep would you seem to be getting at night? Mm -hmm. Seven to eight. Okay. Yeah. Compared to previous year, you seem to have improved your sleep, which is important because sleep is all that matters. No matter how many people say that sleep is overrated, no, it's not. It's pretty underrated, believe me. Yeah. I know you agree that way. Right? Next up. Have you noticed any changes going on with your eyes? Better or worse vision, for example. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're still not wearing any glasses. That's good, that's good. But you just never know. You have to keep an eye uh, with your eyes. Whether you have some white spots, or any signs of glaucoma, or any signs for current cases. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's see, what else do we have here? Just give me a minute so I can check my list of questions, which is relevant. So do you wear any contact lenses? No, no, you don't wear them at all? Okay, you've never um, worn contact lenses. Okay, that's good. 
to drink any coffee, any alcoholic beverages. No, I no. We haven't changed uh, that much compared to previous year. Well, they have changed slightly, but positively, which is most important here. Okay, I think I shall not bother you with uh, any more questions here. I've gathered the necessary information for today, so that we did the actual examination. And of course, as always, it's just an ad hoc question. I happen to have developed an allergy to latex. My latex gloves. No. Okay. Could you hear that? Makes my um, examination pretty straightforward. Yeah. Pretty, pretty straight forward. Okay. Just relax. I'm just gonna have a closer look of your face to see how it functions, to see if there are any functions, okay? Great. No, can you just relax your face? Because you seem a bit anxious, and this is not the first time you come here. You need to relax. I'm not here to torture you like the ordinary doctors. I'm here to examine you carefully, inspect you as an object. I won't be touching you the least for now. Okay, great. Alrighty. Tenderness, an excess of tenderness, of course. Everything is in the wrong. Okay. You just wrinkle up your forehead like that, raise your eyebrows as well. Okay, that's good. Alright, now make a frown. Alright, good. Now give me a smile. Now try to look as far as you can to this side. Mm -hmm. Right. The same exercise. Repeat it. On to this side. Mm -hmm. Okay, you seem to be looking at both sides at the same time without any difficulties. You haven't faced any difficulties. And just have a look at the cheek. Okay. All righty. If I tap on your cheek, do you feel a bit of discomfort? I have a look of your hand, so I hope you don't mind. I'm just gonna use my gloves, check for lice at the same time. Just have a feel of your cranium.
feel of your cranium one more time. and letters series now I just want you to just tell me what do you see on each line okay great yeah simple as that okay let's start with this number here one the figure square a okay next one two triangle s circle M good let's switch to this side if you don't mind I'd like you to see if you can let's see from this side or this side four rectangle R okay now cover one of your eyes and tell me this number here two okay and this figure here rectangle okay. and now if you cover this eye to treat them both equally you can tell me what figure do you see here square okay i forget a bit too far which letter is this that's a okay splendid job indeed Gonna have a deeper look of your eyes. This special tool which I possess in my hands. This is a flashlight, but I it's nothing special about it. Um, so let's just look straight ahead. differently whether you face the light or not yes that's interesting okay it seems you're just like everyone else including me perceiving the light differently in the different backgrounds mm -hmm. all right now let me just look at my nose here on my finger here on this finger here now if I move my finger do you face any distortions while doing it? How about now? How do you have this? Okay, that's good. That's indeed good. Now, I'm gonna have a look at your ears real quick. Is there anything that is bothering with your ears? So you haven't mentioned it, and of course I haven't asked it for you to mention it, but still, I need to be sure if. Um, if everything is all normal. You mind if I take a look? That's good. Okay, I'm not seeing any build up earwax. On this side. Now what on the other? Do you feel any 
tenderness, as if pain, touching your ear loop. No, okay. I think that's enough. Let me just have a look of your throat. Just open up your mouth, stick out your tongue, say ah. Just have a look. Mm -hmm. Sure, that looks good. Your throat doesn't seem to be sore. No. Barely. Well, I should be expecting you to come after a few months when the flu reaches its peak. Ravaging us all. Oh, yeah. oh. I forgot. Nothing much to say. Just like um, previous years and previous times overall. Uh, your health condition seems to be fine. You're responding normally to my um, instructions, to the light. You don't seem to have any problems with your ears, i.e. any build-up earwax or any loss of hearing because I'm talking to you and you seem to be um, perceiving me all fine. Also, I've checked your throat. It doesn't seem to be sore. We've checked your focus and following my fingers. So I guess um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. Got nothing else to say. Ready to go. Yeah, of course. It has been a pleasure. <laughs>